Okay. So I'm just recording this clip. It's going to be a short one to show off a weapon that we actually missed in the underground facility. Um, it's called the... What is it? Fang of the Twins or something? Something similar to that. I think it's a, a two-handed weapon. And it's supposed to be found on the first level of the underground facility, so it shouldn't be difficult to find. I'm just gonna smash all the boxes that we find in that area, and it should be inside of one of them, so. Hmm. Yeah, we smashed all the boxes over here. Alright. Maybe it's just back this way. Ah, here it is. There you have it, Fang of the Twins. It's kind of a weird name, but there you go. It's right here. It's kind of a strange looking weapon. Although, wait, let's see the stats. 312 damage, light, and not bad. I don't know, still too slow considering it's a, a claymore. Or, not a claymore, it's kind of nothing like a claymore, but it's in the same category, and it's still being a, a two-handed weapon. It's a little bit too slow for my tastes. Oh yeah, and I don't have the charge attack anymore, so that's that's a big con in my book. It's just not gonna fly. Anyways, let's see if we can see it close up. Actually, I don't think we can use it in the mansion. Let's get out of the mansion, and then show it. Hello everyone, and welcome to a uh, slightly different episode of Let's Play Near. As you can see, we've planted some flowers here, or we've planted some sprouts that will become flowers. These are moon flowers, and they pretty much encompass the entirety of the final side quest that we have to do. We have to make pink moon flowers and wait for them to wilt and then we have to harvest their seeds and we need 10 of them. Um, in addition to this we're also going to be making a lunar tear, the legendary flower that um, Nier is supposed to get for Yona and blah 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 and Kaine has one. She actually has like a whole wreath of them that she doesn't want you to touch. But basically we're gonna be just making a whole garden and it's gonna be insane. Um, anyways, I believe what I have right here is I have blue followed by red, followed by gold, followed by red, or no. I forget exactly what I have now. I'm pretty sure this one is gold though. No, is it? I don't know. Either way, water it. Um, it's not important right now. Basically, once you plant the flowers, you want to water them once, and um, once you're done watering them, really, the only thing to do is wait, and this doesn't work off of an in-game timer, it works off of real-life time. So basically, you would do this, then you would shut off your console, and what the game designers expected you to do was to wait like 6, 8, 12, I don't know what the time is, but I usually would skip forward 8 hours and it would work. You have to skip forward a certain amount of time, and then the flowers will have grown. And, um, you can, you can have flowers wilt, and, uh, that, I think that yields seeds. Otherwise, you can just pick them, and you get, a you get a flower, and you can give that to people, or sell it, or whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, basically, it's just, it's dumb. <laughs> If I wanted to do this, I would go and play Harvest Moon or something, but I, I don't really... I don't even think Harvest Moon does it in such a tedious way as this. Maybe it does, maybe I'm wrong, but... I, I never really saw a lot in this kind of gameplay mechanic. I'm not a big fan of it. But, um... The main concept of breeding flowers is that you want to do this kind of cross-breeding... Uh, like making hybrid flowers to make different colors and uh, it's quite a process it it takes a lot of time and patience and uh, 
sweat, blood, and tears, and it's just, it's a pain. I, I, I don't like this, this very much. It's kind of irritating. I, I, it's gonna take me like two, three, four, five hours, not five hours, but it's gonna take us a long time. I'm gonna get up a guide as soon as I'm done with this initial planting and, uh, and watering. And, uh, I'm gonna try and speed through this for you guys, but just know this is a long and time-consuming process, and if you want to do it the legitimate way, it's going to take you weeks. Maybe not weeks, but it's going to take you days and days of really stupid garden management that you probably don't want to worry about. Alright. So we have gone forward two days from when we first planted these. Hoping this works. Yep! There you go. This is what you want. The flowers have um, grown up and then wilted, and now we can harvest them into seeds. So we got four blue moon flower seeds just from that one. Red moon flower seeds. And apparently um, it's actually smarter to uh, just arrange these, or arrange these in a certain pattern to get the particular moonflowers that you want. So, um, next time I try this, I'm going to do a red-gold pattern in order to get these particular seeds we're gonna want. And, uh, we'll kinda go from there. Looks like we did get an, what looks like an orange moonflower seed, so that's interesting. Let's just pick that up. Ah, it's a peach moonflower seed, that's good. I think that's actually important to uh, a certain part of this. Got red moon flowers. Got blue moon flowers. And we got gold moon flowers. So basically, only one of those led to a hybrid. Um, I'm gonna go on ahead and go with a particular pattern now that we have plenty of. Uh, moonflower seeds. As you can see, we uh, got quite a nice amount of seeds now. Um, let's go on ahead and use some bounty fertilizer, actually. This will increase the yielding of seeds that we'll get. And I think flowering fertilizer... Or no, I don't know if flowering fertilizer uh, speeds up the growing process, or speed does. Or maybe they both do. I don't know. Maybe speed in general speeds up the uh, growing, the whole process, and then uh, flowering fertilizer helps them get to the flower stage more easily. Something like that. Anyways, yeah. Um, I can now confirm you do have to go ahead 48 hours from when you first planted your uh, moonflower seeds, so if you're gonna do this, this um, time changing trick, I suggest that you. Uh, I suggest that you just go on ahead and um, go ahead two days, and that should that should work just fine. Anyways, so we've got a red, and now we're gonna get a gold. We're gonna get oops, where is that one planted? Get another red. Get another gold after this. And now we're gonna get another red. Oh wait. Red, gold, red, gold. No, yeah. Alright, so this row is all red and gold aligned uh, together, side by side. Um, if all goes well, these should yield um, some peach seeds, I believe. Um, so if you do red and gold, um, and if they make a hybrid flower, then you'll get peach seeds from them. Um, if you do gold and blue, then you get... I believe indigo moon flower seeds. 
Then if you do red and indigo, you are going to get, um, hmm, I guess you're going to get pink moonflower seeds. <sighs> Alright, we're back. And we now have a full garden of, uh, pink and peach moonflowers. Now, regardless of uh, whether or not we get the white moonflower seeds, we should have enough, um, we should have enough of the pink moonflower seeds to go and complete the quest, so. Yes, more peach. I don't know, it's not looking too promising to me, I'm not really seeing any, any glimpse of white moonflowers. Again, it's it. There's a really small chance of you actually getting it, so this is really a test of patience. You might have to turn the game on and off quite a few times before you get it. And if you think this is bad, um, farming materials to upgrade all the weapons. There's actually an achievement for fully upgrading to level five every single weapon in the game, and some of the items that you have to f you have to farm. They're either really rare, or they can only be obtained at certain parts of the game, or it's just really obscure, and the game doesn't tell you really any of this stuff. You just kind of have to know, either from experience or from stumbling upon it, and that is like one of the very few achievements in this game that I never bothered with, because it's just way too much to ask. Um, but yeah, regardless of all that, we should now be able to take a trip over to the desert and give that person the pink moonflower seeds that they need. If we check Grimoire Vice... Yep, we collected the seeds, and if we look in our cultivation menu, we have 26 pink moonflower seeds. So, more than enough. We're gonna have 15 left even- or 16 left even after the transaction, so we'll still be able to uh, plant all the seeds that we need and you know, just go from there. So I'm just gonna run over. I'm going to uh, complete that side quest and then we'll go back to our our um, white moonflower cultivation thing. <laughs> oh man. You really have to be dedicated if you want to do everything there is to do in this game. And I mean dedicated, not not in the way that you just love the game so much that you need to do these things, just that you have to sort of engage in this mindless, repeated process until, you know, you finally get what you need. Then you go take care of things, you gotta run across the world, do this, do that, do the other thing. And it's, it's the low point of the game, honestly. Um... You know, lots of games are great, but fail in just very particular um, areas that hurt them in, in a lot of ways. This game, it's the side quests and the grinding. It's it's not necessary to beat the game. There's actually an achievement to beat the game under 15 hours, and if you just follow the red quest or the red X that marks your main quest, you can go through the entire game without an issue. Um, but yeah, if, if you want to go for everything, if you want to, sh um, kind of do everything there is to do, you really have to work for it, and, um, personally I find that a lot of the things aren't worth it. I'll, I will do things like these side quests just because they are a decently large part of the game, and some of them yield some really cool, um, some really cool bits, either plot-wise or, like, where we went back to the intro of the game and we get to fight all those dudes in the in the snowy city and yeah that was very cool but all right that's not the person we had to talk to it was this one got your seeds Bwahaha. now we are one step closer to bringing forth the order of the demonic blossom oh nothing thanks for the flowers okay that that kind of made it worth it I feel a little le bit less horrible about going to all that trouble, but... <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, at least Caveat has a sense of humor about this. This 
crazy stuff that they ask the player to do. I think maybe they knew, you know, nobody's really going to want to spend this much time doing this flowering minigame. But you know what, we'll just screw with them. This, this is all gone towards part of enacting a demonic flower ritual. It's like, alright game, touche. <laughs> Way to go. Hello everybody. I figured I would just go on ahead and um, go for just one day, 24 hours, and show off the the um, flowering period, you know, before they wilt and you go and harvest them and all that jazz. Um, I haven't been having any luck. I've been I've been at this for a good, I'd say, um, two and a half hours. I have not seen um, any signs of a white flower, of a white moon flower. Um, you know, some of them have been close, but for the most part, you know, I've just been getting pink moon flowers and peach moon flowers. Not for the most part, entirely, but um, yeah, it's kind of a shame. You you can tell whether or not it's the white moon flower. It's some it for some of them, it's kind of hard to tell because they're a lighter shade. Um, but as long as you see kind of that pink on the edges of the flower, you know it's it's not the white moon flower, so. It seems that this old man is scripted to, uh, to track you and come over to your character and just stare at him. Uh, I swear. Uh, I'll look away from this game for a few minutes and I'll come back and he's always right here at the save point, looking at me. As soon as you move, he goes away. But while you're sitting there, he's always waiting. It's horrifying. He's like your creepy old man stalker. Whoa! What is this? What is this beautiful thing? You want to know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. As soon as the name comes up. It's Bell Pepper Plant. Oh, I don't know. I was bored, and I wanted to mix things up, so I just planted a bell pepper out of nowhere. Um, so yeah. Uh, these are some bloomed flowers, none of which are uh, white flowers, which is very disappointing. I might just harvest them all, because... Um, if I harvest them, then I'll have room for uh, to pick up more seeds next time, because I have literally run out of room for seeds yet again. So I'm just gonna harvest the moonflowers themselves, save time that way. Let's see, pink, peach, pink, peach. What? Ah, pink. It was a very light pink. Alright, pink peach. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Do you see this? Do you see this? Do you, Are you perceiving what that is? You, you, you see what that is, right? I, I mean... You, you, you see that? That, that's, that's it. That is it. That is our lunar tear. That is our white moon flower. It's beautiful. Oh man. Um. Ooh. Oh yes. I like it. I like it very much. I'm afraid if I go forward a day it'll be gone. Oh god. Um, I know it won't be, but seriously, um, I kind of want to pick it up right now, but, uh, I won't do that. I'm, I'm going to have some, uh, gonna have some reservation with this. I have to be gentle with this process. I want to have a, uh, beautiful garden.
Hello, everybody. After hours of tedium, we finally got it. And, uh, just to commemorate the event, I have, um, I've laid out all of the different types of moonflowers. Over here you have the red and blue moonflowers. It's very nice. And then, over, uh, over here, you have the the uh, peach and pink moonflowers, which are the ones we had to use to get the white moonflower. Uh, and then you have a gold moonflower. Uh, right here. We have, I think, an... Hmm. Where's the indigo? What's going on here? Oh, well, we have the uh, gold moonflower right there. You know, I only planted... Hmm. I only planted two Lunar Tears. What's this one? Kinda have to know now. That was a white moonflower? What's up with that? Hmm. Cause I swear, I planted an indigo moonflower right there. I only had two white moonflower seeds. That's weird. That indigo moonflower became a, uh became a white moon flower. I don't know how that worked. Maybe the uh, white moon flower has a chance to make any other moon flower become a white moon flower. I don't know. What effect does it have? An extremely rare, rare bleh, an extremely rare white moon flower, also known as a lunar tear. Use it to restore all of your HP. Yep, so it's basically just full HP restoration, which is awesome. And uh I just want to check the price, I'm not actually going to sell it, but in case you're planning on uh, using them to get a ridiculous amount of money, if you sell your white moon flower, uh, da 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 da, it's not over here, here it is, 5,000 per, so if you had, say, you can get 15 white moon flowers if you have the, enough seeds for it. That would be 5,000 times 15, um, 75,000 per, which is pretty nice. Um, so there you have it. If you have the time to spend on that, honestly, I, I, I don't, and I don't want to do that. But there you have it. This is, this is my little, my little garden. After all of this, this trouble we went to, we have everything, except for an indigo moonflower, because it, it was turned it was turned into a white moon flower because white moon flower it's awesome you know anyways <sighs> i'm so glad to be done with that i mean you know i'm i'm also ecstatic but i'm i think i'm more relieved than i am ecstatic because that was 4 hours that it took i, I was so bored I was so tired, but finally we got it, and I'm so happy for that. Anyways, Diary. This is um, where the DLC comes into play, uh, the DLC dungeon. It's pretty short, it shouldn't take us more than a video or two, and it yields, I think, some bonus weapons, like three bonus weapons, one for each type of weapon. And then uh, the DLC also came with, I think, two outfits, so I'll be showing those off after the finale, and, um, you know, we'll just kind of work things that way. Um, so thank you for watching. This has been the Flower Power episode, where we did horrible, horrible side quests, and hor went to horrible, horrible lengths to, uh, get a legendary flower, and also a trophy if you haven't done this before. I did this once before, so I already have the trophy, but anyways, I just... I kind of want to rest right now, so I'll see you guys next time where we'll be doing the DLC content, and uh, after that, all that's left is the finale, and I think you guys are really going to like it. So we can finally stop with the side quest stuff, we're done with that. Um, all there is to do now is the finale, so I'll see you there.